Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, still the 16th of March. It is 2024. Uh, the sun is much higher now. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. So I had to stop that last video real quick. I want to explain that really quickly. Uh, I just was letting you guys know that hell had just went into heat. Okay. And the neighbor over there, their dog was over here, which is a, a coon hound. And there's no way, <laughs> no way I want to have coon hound German Shepherd mixed puppies. No, 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 no. So I had to stop the video really quickly, get her back in the house, because uh, she was obviously very distracted. And so, no, that was that's not going to be uh, what we're going to allow to have happen. So I want her to uh, breed with another German Shepherd, and we'll get some nice puppies that way. So anyway, so I'm hoping, uh, looking at the, the way things would be, probably next weekend I will try to get her with uh, the other dog, and uh, we'll let... The, usually, once they go into heat about the 10th, 11th, maybe the 12th day, that's when they're the best time uh, to breed them. So if I get her together with that other dog next weekend, uh, that would be ideal. And uh, so I'm going to go down. I'm going to be talking with them um, about that. So I wanted to show you in here again, now that the sun is up a little bit higher. Let's see. Of course, it's not. The display is off, so we'll give that a moment. But anyway, I did want to talk more um, about what I was in the process of talking about when all of a sudden that other dog showed up. And I left her inside for this video just because, I, you know, she doesn't need to be out yet. And he's around here somewhere and I don't want to have to worry about keeping an eye on her and, uh, and doing that. So, but uh, anyhow... Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's not a, we don't we don't we don't want uh, the wrong puppies. We want puppies, but we want to make sure they're the right puppies. Let's see what we got here. Hasn't started yet. Okay. Uh, anyway, I was talking about you know time and in time management in all those type of things, and I think that it is important that we try to manage our time in a right way. Uh, I saw the article again yesterday, and I thought it was very profound. And I, th I wanted to share this with you again. And I want, you know, all of those out there of you that are watching that have children, okay? In, in the article, it basically states that by the time your kids are 12, you will spend 75% of the time that you will spend with that child for their entire life by the time they're 12. By the time that child is 18, you have spent 90% of the time that you will spend with that child in their lifetime uh, at, by the age of uh, you know 18. 90%. So time is precious, folks. It really, really is precious. And being able to be there and be a positive role model and a good influence on your children, I think is really, really important. Uh, I really do. So... Um, I'm always going to encourage you all, you know, take care of your families, put them first. Don't put that job first. Uh, you know, your family is going to be there hopefully forever. All right, cool. So if you remember earlier, we were at 58%, and now we're already up to 66% in charging. So, and again, like I told you, it's only 10 o'clock maybe. I think it's 10 o'clock. So it's charging up really quickly. Probably by noon, 1 o'clock at the latest, we will be at 100% with the batteries. And that's a good thing. That's, uh, that's what we want to see <laughs> on a regular basis so that we do not have to run the generator. Um, again, we're only in March. Days are getting longer. We're almost up to 12 hours of uh, daylight now already. And uh, so, you know, we're just... Uh, that, that is definitely a very, very good thing. But anyway, um, you know, the importance of time management, what you're doing with that time, how are you spending your time. If you're spending your time working all the time and away from your family, 
that is not a good thing, uh, you know. And I understand the sacrifice that has to be made, uh, you know, in the big picture of things. But I, I will tell you, the first 10 years that my kids were here on this planet, I worked a lot because, you know, that's my responsibility. It was my responsibility solely to take care of everybody. And then when my ex decided to, to part company and it was just the kids and I, I quickly realized that spending as much time with them was much more important than anything else. So I know in order, I knew in order to do that, I had to make some lifestyle changes. Um, I had to change our residence. I had to change how we lived our lives, how the money was spent, so that I could learn to live on less, but be able to have more time um, so that I could be with them. And I got to a point where I could actually work an eight hour day, do 40 hours a week and not have to go, oh my God, I gotta do 50 and 60 or plus hours to be able to afford everything. Uh, I changed that and I'm ever so grateful um, for that more than anything else because I really got to spend a tremendous amount of time with the children when it mattered the most. And uh, you know, I, of that, like I said, I will always be grateful. Um, really happy I was able to do that. Not everybody's in that position, and I get that. But again, you have to decide what is best for you. What are you going to do? How do you plan on living your life? What kind of legacy, you know? Materialistic stuff, folks, that's just materialistic stuff. Um, I would rather have a simpler life, an easier life, where I could do what I need to do, and not have to worry about, you know, how am I going to get by? What am I going to do? Where, where's the money coming from? Oh my God, we got to pay for this, that, the other thing. Simpler living, figuring out, um, getting back to the basics, if you will. You know, we've been caught up and we've been sold this bill of goods that this is important and that's important. And those materialistic things, that's not important. I'll be honest with you. They're just not. They're just not important. What's important is that time and how you utilize it and how you spend it and what you're doing. I mean, spending time with your kids does not have to be go out and spending a, a tremendous amount of money. That doesn't have to be the case. What it can be is something, something as simple as, you know, you go to the beach and you hang out at the beach. It don't cost anything. Uh, going to a museum, you know, you might have to pay an entrance fee or whatever and stuff like that, but it's not going to be a, a huge hit on you. Taking the kids fishing, taking them camping, doing things together, building those memories so that they can look back later on and go, you know what, that was pretty cool. We got to do this, that, or the other thing. Uh, instead of, you know, mom and dad are working all the time and we're being raised by the TV and the computer and they have no memories of anything special or unique. And uh, I think that that is an important part of it, and a lot of people don't think about that. Um, and I, you know, and I, I didn't for a long time. And then I realized, you know, you know, t instead of taking that one vacation once a year and taking a week or ten days off and and going and doing a trip, those small little trips were important. Those little day trips uh, in doing something special that was important. So just wanted to share those thoughts with you guys. Um, hopefully, you know, you guys got your priorities in the right spot and where they should be. You know, but if, if not, this is a gentle reminder that if you want things to be different, then you have to go through the steps to change that, to make your life simpler and easier. And, you know, so you can focus on the true priorities, which is always and should be your family. Okay? So, um... I wanted to try to finish this up in the last video, but then all of a sudden, like I said, that dog showed up and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. So anyway, yes, Hella is in heat. Yes, I plan on breeding her through this time. Um, hopefully, you know, we will, she'll take and uh, we'll have some puppies and uh, we'll go from there. And uh, I, you know, depending on how big her litter is, we'll, we'll see what she has and um, you know, we'll kind of figure things out from there, but, uh, 
I think that I'm, I'm trying to get her uh, bred with a darker uh, German Shepherd, so it'll be an interesting mix of puppies. I think that'll be really, really neat. So can't wait to see what she produces, and uh, you know, and uh, hopefully we'll have uh, an awesome batch of babies. And you know, I think she'll be a good mama. And uh, I'm looking forward to having a couple more shepherds down here. I think that that is a good thing. You know, being able to have spots for them and, uh, you know, freedom to run around and, and do the things that they need to do. So, anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now. Uh, remember also, when you see this video, you're going to see this video on Sunday at 3 o'clock. I will be live streaming Sunday night at 8 p.m. So, I would encourage you to join me then. Okay, just putting that out there. Anyway, remember, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. If we could ever figure that one out, we absolutely will be in much, much better shape. We also have to stop letting them divide us using race, religion, political affiliation, all that's nonsense. It doesn't mean anything. We have to come together as human beings. If we can do that, we can accomplish anything that we set our minds to. Also remember, guys, to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.